Hi everyone, this is Yann Camus of Bliss Climbing and today I want to show you a new way of climbing. Well, kinda. I will call it the stick clip rope solo method. You need the two ends with tiny double figure eight knots, but also the middle of the rope because you need three points of attachment. I've been asked many times, how do you get a top rope solo set up? where you have sport climbs that cannot be accessed from the top and always my answer was you have to learn how to lead rope solo but here i will let you know what is my recommendation today with a stick clip safely usually my videos they show things that you should not do okay or small tricks and all the actual courses are on blissclimbing.com by the way click here and go see that but today I will really show you something that I will try to tell you everything you need to know in order to apply it as safely as possible remember it's not the system that keeps you safe it's yourself you need to have good judgment that's the most important all right let's get to it all right so here you have a um, bolted climb it's glue-ins and i have my rope laid out what's really special about what i thought for you guys so this stick clip rope solo method you need the two ends with tiny double figure eight knots but also the middle of the rope pause after the facts I thought about my thing and there's a way that's easier for you. What you need is only the two ends of the rope and two progress capture or rope grabs. So I have my Grigri and my micro traction and a 60 centimeter sling with a carabiner. It's girth itched on my harness and I will suspend myself on that for the transitions and I still need the tie block or the ascender to ascend the rope so just two devices with two rope ends and 160 centimeter slings so I will go up and I have just a single carabiner on the end of the rope same thing here single carabiner in order to do the transition i just clip this carabiner on the bolt there under this uh this carabiner i will get down a little bit the reason i'm using 60 centimeter is to push myself away from the wall it can be useful i take that carabiner back in order to clip it higher so i'm always clipped to two bolts i take my stick clip and move that rope up to the next bolt. Done. Oh, this micro traction is not engaged. That's why I always test my stuff, locking gates and uh, the devices they activate and I go up I unclip myself from that 60 centimeter sling with the bolt in front of me just let it hang okay I get to the next bolt I clip my 60 centimeter sling under then I take some slack I will take my uh, tie block back for the transition put it on my harness I take 
the rope here with the gris gris. I take some slack, enough slack, then pick the stick clip, install the rope on the stick clip. Go clip the next bolt. Then I put the tie block on the highest rope. I put it back. All right, I take the slack in my gris gris. Okay, I will go up a little bit in order to be able to unclip from this 60 centimeter sling. That's it. Unclip that. Yeah, this is how you do it. This is the best. Now look at the rest of the video for all kinds of tricks, but just two ends and a 60 centimeter sling is probably your best bet because you need three points of attachment in order to be safe up there because you need redundancy so you need two but when you unclip one and clip it to the next anchor you need you need something else so that's the third one the middle of the rope and you see this loop is a little bit big so i will shorten it before i start that's a little bit better all right and I'm experimenting at the same time that I teach that to you. Um, so I will put a carabiner like this and put it and you see it's not a locker. My uh, stick clip, so it's very simple but you can use whatever stick clip that works well for you. And so I put uh, one quick draw like this and let's say I want to clip it like this. So to the next next um, anchor so I do like this and I start all right so now I need to keep the rope slack in order for uh, the thing up there not to unclip or anything or to fall down I'm there okay I can pull a little bit on the rope pull on the stick and okay i have my first one done and i need to extend for the second one i think i need more more length okay i'll take the other end of the rope for example take a quick draw i'll clip it the same way And I take whatever carabiners, uh, but uh, if you do that, you should always take the same carabiner so you know like how they behave like with the, your stick clip. Right now, this one is not working properly, so I will change that quick draw. Right, extend it. Put some slack in the rope. Always need two anchors. All right, it's pretty high. Okay, that's done. So I have two anchors right now. For the start, I can put my stick clip right there and not carry it on me and I will put rope grabs on these ropes so what do I choose well probably the favorite out there and you should have one if you do top rope solo is the micro traction also useful as a progress capture pulley uh, for big wall all kinds of stuff so this is my go-to device always have it on me even for lead rope solo, use it for cash loop management. 
and you know everyone has a gree gree right so get your gree gree to work right there why not so i put both of them in my belay loop here it's a ring sorry for that but it's my belay loop on this harness and i have another uh, progress capture device here the roll and lock and i have another one like an ascender for example but i have only a tie block and i will use that let's start to go up i need to take the middle rope with me middle of the rope like this and it has to be untangled obviously i take Another quick draw, I clip it on my harness for now and I am ready to go. So I will put my tie block in front of me. I can put it on the rope that goes the highest. Why? Because it will be useful for a longer time. I can use it for a longer time and then I want a loop for my feet. So I'll take another quick draw and a 60 centimeter sling and try that. It should be sh too short, yes. So I will extend that with another 60 centimeter sling. So that should be long. Let's try. Okay, it's not bad. And then I pull on the two progress capture devices that are used right now so and before i go you should do your rope solo buddy check so go see that video click up there so solo home safe system the system that i use is okay for what my intent so if i am a uh, stick clip rope soloing so that's good my devices they operate so i'm loading them that's the way you really check function check is how you know it it works locked everything is locked so my harness is well put my carabiners are locked um, i have also a knot that closes the system it, i'm redundant on two anchor points and obstructions there's nothing that should go inside the devices or anything like sharp rocks that will hinder my system home safe i need everything on me in order to get back to where i am at the bottom of the climb so i have the gree gree will enable me to go lower down i have the rope i have um, what i need some slings in order to tie myself to the anchor belay anchor up there so I'm fine. Worth noting, before I left the house, I told my wife where I was going and when I was coming back. So if anything happens to me, it will take quite some time for rescue to come, but someone will know and will come for help. All right. So it's the first time that I actually do it and I teach that to you. So if I do anything wrong, Please comment below. Okay, I pull my progress capture device and what I should do is as soon as I'm maybe a meter and a half above the ground, I, I should put a backup knot if anything slips. So here it's only um, a slip knot, but I can, I can put... A carabiner on it for now just so it doesn't undo itself and I have a backup if anything slips and I have two progress capture devices so I continue like that until I get to the first bolt I just pull my progress capture devices until I get to the first anchor when I get to that anchor, I will want to get on that rope and undo myself from this anchor to go all the way up, but I need a backup. I should not rely on a single anchor point, all right? So what can I do? Here 
is what I suggest. I take the middle of the rope, I take the stick clip, and I will go clip that to the next anchor. All right, here you go. And you see, I made a clipping point on my stick clip. I will clip that to my harness. All right, so I need the another progress capture device. So I have the roll and lock here. I put it on one of the strands like this, clip it in my belay loop. All right, I test it, function check. Okay, and now I have two uh, progress capture devices. I will make a good backup knot under the roll and lock. So this, if, uh, if this one slips, I'm okay. And I will, so now I'm anchored to these two and I can remove this one. So I go a little bit higher up. Okay, I unclip this one and just continue. Okay, function check a little bit. I get to the next anchor. All right. So now I get there. I take the one that was on a gris gris. So now I need to make sure that I'm not mixing the ropes up. So I give myself some slack. I will clip that uh, end of the rope on me, give myself some slack, undo this backup knot. And actually, if you have two progress capture devices, like uh, the backup knots, they, they are a lot less required. It's just you have to know your progress capture devices and know when you need to get a backup knot. But if you have two progress capture devices, and they are reliable on your rope and stuff then you should not have to put backup knots it's always get good to get them though you know get, better be safe than sorry so i put the stick clip on this again for the next one to go and so this is the end of the rope this is where my grigri was I get to the next bolt. I pull the rope and then I take my stick clip back, clip it on my harness. The grigri is already there to be used. And what I want to do now is I want to transfer the tie block because the tie block is the fourth progress capture device this one is just to get um, higher but and I put it on the the bolt that's the highest so it will be useful the longest so all right. Sometimes I just check check my stuff. Like carabiners are still locked. Progress capture devices. They don't they don't accumulate slack. So it's quite tedious, but also it's not that bad. 
in the row, I remove a function of the teeth on the micro tracks, I pull some slack and a slack. Okay, I put the teeth back, function check, of course. All right. Save it. I go for the next one. All right. This method feels great. It all works out. Before I commit to the two new uh, ropes and undo this one, I just verified that the two um, devices, they work, they are clipped correctly, and so I can unclip. I get to this next bolt, I take some slack in the rolling lock, like this, I take the end of the middle of the rope, actually, middle of the rope. I just untangle anything that I think could get tangled. And I think this bolt is incredibly high. I don't think my stick clip is long enough right now. And yeah, this is all. I need more rope. I need more stick clip. Let's do that again. Okay, I clip that back to my harness for now. So more rope. And then I said I need a longer stick clip. Let's do that. Okay. Extend to the max. So this stick clip here is 16 feet. So, and I think it might be the, the right length to do the job. It's really long. Depending on the distance between anchors, you will need such a long stick clip. I made it. Such a long stick clip. So I try not to tangle my ropes in the stick clip. And there's a lot of people, they think uh, with the tie block, you have to enclose the rope. But no, there's the two ways are correct. If you know what I mean. All right. I should be really close to the top anchor. And All right. anchor. I need to clip the next one. I don't even see. Oh, I see the next one. It's re it will be really difficult to stick clip. But this is the option I have here. So because I don't have my climbing shoes, and I want to keep safe. So I need to clip before I leave this anchor here. Otherwise, I need to lead rope solo. Otherwise, I can look left and right, try to find if there's other roots, other bolts I could use, but there's none. I will just try my stick clip before I put the rope on. I will remove some snow around it in order to be able to stick clip this one. I have to pass a bulge to clip the next one, so that'll be hard. I'll try like this. Should be good. All right. Send it. Looks pretty good. So I can lean back in order to go over the bulge. I can see. Oh, it's there. It's done. Done. All right. The Gree Gree can fail probably more than these devices. So I will do uh, just a backup knot under the Gree Gree. So if it slips, I don't end up uh, on the ground. But actually there's 
a backup device but you know just better be safe than sorry so backup not and now I will want to clip all the way at the top of the climb and I will make a small knot here because otherwise it will back feed on me do you know what back feed is go by my course if you want click up there in order to know what is back feed with a rope solo thing the 16 feet is certainly what you need got it I change the tie block from one rope to the other it went to the left so I change for my left foot and I go up oh there's a twist in my rolling lock so before I use it I will change its uh, location on the harness put it right here now what I do is I have to make sure I do everything right because I really need this device to work for my safety I need this uh, stick clip one last time but and now I can verify that both my devices to the top anchor are running smoothly they are keeping me safe I'm locked and so I can undo this uh, last uh, progression anchor and leave my stick clip there so obviously today I will not be climbing to the hell I'm just doing the video for you guys so I'll just show you how I would set up my top rope solo here I have the end of the rope available I will pull some slack oh it's uh, it's on, caught on an anchor down there okay I need to go down okay it's untangled so I just verified the micro traction because I was playing with it it didn't bite so I put the teeth back on always check your things very important get to the anchor so I will pull some slack here I have the backup knot clip that temporarily on my harness take some slack so I can set up my top rope solo with this end of the rope one locking carabiner put it on the anchor like this in the right orientation I'm already connected to this uh, locking carabiner so I can just temporarily remove that put that over so it's clean and I'm ready to unclip myself from when I need to I just make a butterfly knot the right length as much as possible adjust the length if I need to put another locking carabiner like this clip the butterfly knot okay I have my grigri already ready I'm lucky on this top rope solo anchor I put my weight on this one in order to temporarily unlock 
unclip and clip over this other rope. And now I'm on the top rope solo. It doesn't show well, but I'm already on my top rope solo with the Grigri ready to come down. So I just unclip, unclip, put everything like that. And as I go down, I might reach the middle of the rope and have to do some stuff, but my top rope solo is rigged. Rigged! Woohoo! It's rigged! Stick clip rope solo is the best! Yoohoo! I like to get down on a gris gris and I have two ropes because I'm doing a rappel, so I do a blocked rappel. Let me know in the comments what you think about everything I do. And if you learn something, tell me. What did you learn? If I did something wrong, tell me. What did I do wrong? Yeah, go buy my online courses. You will learn so much. Just click up there. I undo anything, like any knots in the rope. As I go down, I make sure that everything works with the block rappel because when I pull it will have to go above this bulge. I look down to see that my rope is going is safe and I don't wrap down further than the end of the rope but I have a backup knot so that's good form. I pull the other rope, make sure there's no knot in the rope and pull. That will work. pull steadily and quite slowly finish pulling my rope boom done go see my website blissclimbing.com and buy my online courses that will encourage me a lot and please subscribe and click like see you next time